And the last bit, which a question I know everyone in this room has, is what does Lauren see in Matt? <laughs> she watches Love Island. Yeah. She watches all these programs, watching these hunky men. But she settled for a man who, uh, who drinks blackcurrant squash on a night out and on his stag do. <laughs> but look, I've spent enough time with Matt to know uh, what keeps a smile on Lauren's face, and that is his absolutely massive uh, heart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm Billy. I'm Matt's friend of a good few years now. And yeah, as Matt and Jeff have both said in their lovely speeches, thank you all for coming. I know how daunting this has been for the, uh, for the lovely couple, but you have made it so much easier for them. You've made it so happy for them and they deserve absolutely this. They really do. Afternoon, everyone. I'd say I'm luckiest man alive in the world today is a bit massive understatement. And honestly, I can't believe how quickly this day has come around. But to say I had much to do with organising it is a big, a big stretch. I'm not going to take any credit at all because all the stress and planning you've taken to make today such a good day and make it as perfect as it has been is just unbelievable. Good afternoon and welcome everyone. What can I say about our Lauren? Very proud of the woman she's turned out to be. When I first knew Matt was going to propose it was the worst old secret in the world. He's FaceTimed me at about one o'clock in the morning, making the worst small talk you could possibly imagine before going, can I tell you a secret? And before I even had a chance to answer, he's got the ring on the camera saying, I'm about to propose. Where do I start? Maybe 11 years ago today, when I first met you on Good Friday. We were at a small festival called Skint Fest <laughs> in, uh, in Chesterfield at the Crooked Spire pub. I remember the first time seeing you and think, Jeez, all right. <laughs> and wow, a cracking arse and all. <clears throat> so good afternoon. Welcome to the main art on this very, very special day for the marriage ceremony of Matt Lawrence. But uh, yeah, she's she's been funny. She's always brightened up our lives. She never learned to turn lights off in room or pick a clothes up. But. She's turned out to be a good egg. Very proud of her. I, Matthew Anthony Barrett, take you, Lauren Jean Newson, to be my wedded wife. I, Lauren Jean Newson, take you, Matthew Anthony Barrett to be my wife's husband. <laughs> Lauren, I give you this ring. Matt, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. I promise to cherish you. Comfort you. And care for you. For as long as I live. For as long as I live. So Lauren, you're absolutely beautiful and yes, I love your dress. <laughs> so, just after many asking, quick, just a quick one just to Lauren. Hello. Well, the main thank yous go out today to all of you for coming and spending our special day with us. It means the world to me and Lauren that you've all come to join us, and we're so grateful for all the love and support we've received from each of you in all in all your various ways. Yeah, we met we met on the internet on a very dodgy app. It was one of those apps where you discuss your shared interests and uh, <laughs> We don't need to talk about the app. That's not what we're here for. It's a blessing in disguise Me and Matt were supposed to be going to an MMA event in Newcastle with two other people They gave the worst excuses known to man Apparently one person was on a plane and the plane just didn't take off and the other one's parents decided he wasn't allowed to come I'd like to welcome Matt into the family You've nearly been part of our family now for 11 years. Lauren, you're a wonderful woman who deserves a wonderful husband. And I won't rest until I get to the bottom of what's gone so terribly wrong. <laughs> when Matt first met our family, he came down the drive in his little shorts, his backpack, his cap, and he was questioned on numerous subjects 
by myself, including how much you've got in bank. Chris Newson, uh, his first words to me, never forget him, hurt her and I would kill you. <laughs> a plane not taking off and uh, someone's parents saying no has is, is probably been one of the best coincidences in the world because, yeah, it's brought me and Matt as good friends and well, we're all here today for that reason. We've supported each other through different jobs and difficulties. I couldn't have found a stronger person to do that with. We've been on all the road, weekends away, been to festivals together, and essentially did everything we could do in our teens and early 20s. Matt, Lauren, thank you very much for being such an important part of my life. Thank you for doing everything you do for me. I could never, ever repay you for what you do. Always, always cherish it. Even though I knew Lauren was one for me, I still wanted a few, like, a year or so after we moved in to make sure that I didn't wind you up too much before I post here. Even though you're extremely hung over and you knew it was going to happen, uh, she said yes and I couldn't have been happier. Seriously though, I think you both have laid the foundations for a strong, loving, trusting relationship. Whatever comes your way, you will handle it together and build a marriage that lasts a lifetime. Well, look, my last thanks go to the parents here. All, all of you have done an amazing job in bringing up two perfect children. You've, you're the reason they're here today. You've moulded them into the most amazing people. I am so proud of how strong, brave and caring you are. You are the love of my life and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I know you have. You have made two perfect children and I couldn't be proud of calling both my best friends. Here's to the past for all you have learned. Here's to the present for all that you share. And here's to the future for all that you've got to look forward to. Matt and Lauren. To all the fabulous years to come with my new wife, Mrs. Lauren Barrett. Yeah.